This video is sponsored by iFixit. Every PS3, PS4, and PS5 motherboard has a little battery on it, just like this one right here called the CMOS battery. In this video, we're gonna talk about what it is, what it does, what happens when it goes bad, and why you might wanna think about replacing it. Complementary metal oxide semiconductor battery is a lithium three volt battery. Even though it is a lithium battery, it's actually not rechargeable, and I'll be telling you why that's a problem here in a minute. As you can see, all of these PS4 motherboards have one and that's because it's used to set an internal time and date. So anytime you earn a trophy or anything like that, there's a time and date assigned to it that cannot be changed. This is important so people can't go back and change the times and dates on their trophies. The problem happens though when they die. If your CMOS battery dies, you'll probably notice that the time and date never stays set and you have to constantly be resetting it. But the more worrying problem is that if your CMOS battery dies, then you won't actually be able to play your digital or physical games on a PS4 or PS5. That's because your PS4 or PS5 won't be able to contact Sony's servers to authenticate. Now, luckily, these batteries generally last two to 10 years, many times longer, but with the PS4 being released in 2013, obviously that's coming up on the 10 year anniversary. So it is something to pay attention to. Now I went through some random motherboards that I've just got laying around and I pulled 12 batteries out to see what the voltages are on these batteries. Now these were all from various PS4s from various models and various years. I wanted to see whether these still had close to the three volts that they're supposed to have so let's check that out. And the first battery has 3.023 volts. Let's check the second one. 2.9 that's getting pretty low. Three volts. 3 volts, 3 volts, 2.9, 3 volts, 3 3 3.1, 3.1, 3.0, 0, 3.0, and this one is totally dead. So out of all 12 of these batteries, there was only one that was totally dead. The rest of them probably all work fine. Now another nice thing is these batteries are not expensive. You can get them at basically any store. I'll put an Amazon link down in the description for the ones I buy, so you can purchase them there if you'd like. So the CMOS battery issue affects PS3, PS4, PS5, but the Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S motherboards actually don't have a CMOS battery. Now, even though that's true, the interesting thing is some motherboards for those consoles actually do have a place for it. On this Xbox One S motherboard, there's actually a place right here for that CMOS battery, but you can see they don't actually include it on the board. Xbox uses a different system to authenticate their consoles and we're not gonna get into that today. Next, I wanna show you how to replace them and I'm gonna show you on all of the PS4 motherboards and then also on the PS5 motherboard. Now, I'm not gonna be doing a teardown on each of these consoles as that would just take too long. If you need to see how exactly to tear down your PS4, I recommend going to ifixit.com, going to the teardown section and find your console there and it will take you through step by step exactly how to do it. I also have lots of teardowns on my channel, so you can just go to the search bar on my YouTube channel and search for the teardown that you need. If you need any other parts or tools, I highly recommend ifixit.com. I love ifixit tools as they're some of the best around. They're very high quality, have great customer service, and the tools last a really long time. I'm gonna be using a simple ifixit spudger to remove these batteries. So this is the tool that I'll be using and I'm just gonna use this pointy end. This is the area of the motherboard that you're gonna be looking at. These are very easy to see as they're very large, so it's easy to find them on the motherboard. I'm gonna be pushing in, and I'm actually gonna keep the battery from popping up right away with my finger, because there's little tiny ridges right here that actually hold the battery down. I don't wanna break those, because if I do, then the battery won't be able to stay down once I put a new one in. So I'm gonna push in pretty hard until it pops up just like that. And then the battery just comes right out. Now you wanna make sure not to break this plastic holder right here, because if you do, that's gonna make it so you can't plug a battery back in. 
Now that was the PS4 original model. This is the PS4 1215 model. And we're gonna do a very similar thing here. Just push in that way and then pull up just like that. And that one comes out very easily. Then when you install it, same thing, there's two tabs right here. You need to get the battery under, push it in and down. And once it's all held in place there, you're done. Now let's look at the PS4 Slim. And we have a pretty similar system on the PS4 Slim. This little bar right here is providing tension, so we need to push against that so we can pop it out of this little clip right here. And push up just like that. And we have it out. Now let's get it back in. Just need to push all the way against this that way and press down. Now let's look at a PS4 Pro. And once again, the PS4 Pro is pretty similar to the other PlayStations we already looked at. Just gonna get our spudger down here, push up, and then it'll just pop right out. And do make sure that when you install it, the plus side is up. These are CR2032 batteries. And there we go. Now let's move on to the PS5. You definitely wanna make sure whatever battery you get to put in there is the highest quality you can get just so it'll last as long as possible. Unfortunately on the PS5, they didn't put this battery on the top side of this board. So you actually have to remove the entire board in order to get to it on the other side. So let's lift this up. That also means that you will have to be careful of liquid metal when you do this part. Basically that just means don't be jostling the motherboard around. And here we go. And the PS5 has a Panasonic CR2032 and it is three volt, just like all the others. So we'll get our spudger down in here. You have to push down pretty hard. And then just lift up like that and it'll pop out. And then to install a new one, make sure the plus is facing up, push in that way and then just snap it down. So that's pretty much everything you need to know when it comes to the CMOS battery in the PS4 and PS5 consoles. Once again, if you need help tearing down any of your devices, I recommend going to the teardown section at ifixit.com. And while you're there, you can pick up any tools or parts you need to. Thank you again to iFixit for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching it, and I hope you have a good one.